We are here with South Dakota Cross Country Coach Dan Fitzsimmons in his fourth season uh, as the Coyote Mentor. And Coach, let's talk about the teams a little bit for the 2011 season. Let's talk about the women's team first. Uh, a good, experienced nucleus coming back. Uh, what are you looking for out of the women's group and what have you seen in practice so far? Well, I've seen that uh, our women's team has really kind of switched up the order from last year so far. Uh, of course, we haven't had a competition yet, so we'll find out soon enough. But uh, I think we'll have some different people that maybe take a shot at being our number one runner throughout the season, which is going to add to our depth. Uh, I think the key ingredient we need to develop is we need to develop some front runners. Uh, right now, we seem to have a pack of six to seven, and in team scoring, that's very beneficial. But you still need someone up towards the front of the pack to get that, that, low, that low score to start off your meet. Okay, and the men's team, uh, very similar, returns a, a good group of kids with uh, some experience and some uh, meet time under their belts. What, uh, what have you seen from them so far and what, uh, how's the group kind of developed in practice? Well, so far in practice, uh, Jeffrey Mettler's kind of started off the year where he left off last spring and he seems to, at least for right now, look to be our number one. Uh, after that, we have four or five guys vying for number two. Uh, their, their time gap in practice seems to be real close, and if we can do that in competition and uh, kind of get someone out in the lead pack, I think we can be very competitive. Okay. Uh, it's the Coyotes' first year in the Summit League. The women were picked fourth and the men were picked sixth. Uh, what are the team's goals as uh, the Coyotes venture, venture into a new uh, conference with some new competition? Well, it's interesting. It, you know, we'd like to we like to say we, you know, we were prepared from the Great West and if we can improve upon what we did in the Great West, because on paper, the distance teams team, seem to be very similar to what we faced in the Great West. Uh, that being said, there's a little bit more depth because you have 10 teams in the conference, so naturally that affects the scoring quite a bit. So, you know, the fourth and sixth we take as a great compliment. I mean, they don't know us very well, we don't know them. Uh, we'll see a few of the, our opponents throughout the year. But uh, right now, our focus is just on improving individually as a group. And we think if we do that, we can be very competitive by season's end in, in the Summit League. Uh, we're here with Carol Miller, a junior on the South Dakota Women's Cross Country team. Carol earned all conference honors last year as a sophomore for the Coyotes in 2010. Uh, Carol, let's talk about this year a little bit. Uh, the team had some good momentum going at the end of the season last year. How does it look to build on that going into this year? Yeah, we definitely had quite some momentum, and I think the girls have come back even stronger. So we're going to have a great year this year, and it's going to be great to enter the Summit League with the strong team that we have. Uh, nine of the ten conference runners are back. How is that experience going to help, and how has it helped in practice so far? Uh, the experience is a great, great tool that we can use. Um, it's different when you come into college running. The whole race is completely different. But now that we have a year or two under some of the girls' belts, I feel like we can actually go out in the race with a strategy and know exactly what to do and get it done. Uh, the team is in its first year in the Summit League. It was picked fourth in the preseason goal or poll. What are the goals for the team as, as you go into a new conference? Our goal is always to win. We have a feeling that the Summit League is going to be much tougher than what the Great West was but we still feel like we're in the hunt. We've got a lot of depth on our team and now we've got experience and just there's been girls that have came back from this summer that look awesome so I'm very excited for the championships. Uh, we are here with Ethan Marquardt, a junior on the South Dakota men's cross country team. Uh, Ethan was a all-conference performer last season and is back to uh, as one of the veterans on the team. And let's talk about this uh, upcoming year, Ethan. There's a lot of experience back, a lot of kids that uh, saw a lot of meat action last year. How, how is that experience going to help you guys this year? Um, well, it gives us a better feel of like racing. Um, like we did a few 6Ks last year at the beginning and moved up to 8K, did a 10K down at Chili Pepper. And, um, you know, it depends on like the races we, sometimes we expand it get the feel of like how nationals could be later on in the future and we get a feel for that and then um, the 6k it's it's great to go out there and not do an 8k and get hurt early in the season it's just you know getting the, getting the rhythm of racing fast and just adding as the season goes on and uh, the team's been practicing for about a week now what uh, how have things been going how's the the competition within the team been going so far well, um, it's not really 
competition between our teammates. It's more of like team bonding. Uh, we have a few freshmen doing some work. Uh, hopefully they don't get wore out. They, they're feeling pretty strong and uh, they're relating to the team pretty, I mean, the practice is really well. The workouts, um, you see major improvements throughout everybody. Um, we just, like adjusted a few workouts. Um, change the spot but different the uh, same distance and we've been improving drastically and I feel that we're gonna have a really good team this year. Mm -hmm. uh, first year in the Summit League for both uh, the men and women cross-country teams. Uh, the men were picked uh, sixth. What are the goals for the team as we uh, join a new conference? Well, I believe that USD cross-country will beat South Dakota State. Uh, we have a really good force returning, just returning, and then you add a freshman on top of that, and we're a really young team, so I think we compete really well with those guys. And then uh, uh, Southern Utah, I mean, they're, they're going to be tough, but every conference meet should be tough. You know, you got to earn it to win it, and it's just a great experience. So. Mm -hmm.